The Te Atatū Peninsula Community Centre is about a 20 minute drive west of downtown Auckland and it's a favoured venue for promoter Tony Angelov to hold his shows. Tonight he promotes Art of War 11. The main attraction on tonight's card is a lightweight four-man competition. Isaac Savage, tonight's MC, is about to introduce the first two fighters looking for a place in the final. Let's give it up for Ali First man with the chance of bragging rights tonight is Ali Tomalolo, fighting out of the Wimbledon Muay Thai gym in Auckland. It is his trainer, Wimbledon Jai. He uh, had over 200 fights himself, so uh, Ali in good hands there. He's a tough young fighter, 23 years of age. His opponent is. Ali in the red corner, taking this fight on 24 hours notice. Representing CKB, David Santoy! And yes, you did hear it right, 24 hours notice, and uh, David Sanchai Hong is uh, stepping in. His stable mate Jake Walker was meant to take the fight. He had to pull out at last minute for uh, personal reasons. And Sanjay, who hasn't been in the ring for uh, over 18 months, he said, yep, I'll take the place. So luckily he fights out of the city kickboxing gym. They had plenty of fighters to call on, or otherwise it could have been a bit difficult for Tony Angelo. So a good replacement in here, the most experienced fighter in the pack up against the least experienced at the moment, but uh, a fighter that's gonna go a long way in Ali Tomalolo. Well, I guess the big question about the four man tonight is the condition of this man. He had that break, got married at the end of 2018 and he was training for a fight, but uh, not for another six weeks or two months. John Conway's the referee for the night's bout. Uh, first of all, guys, you both must be able to protect yourselves all the time. Listen to my instructions. When I call a break, stop doing what you're doing. Step away from each other until I say fight. We're fighting full Muay Thai rules. Both understand? Shake them up. Back in your corner. Well, the fighters will be in good hands as far as the refereeing is concerned with John the Rebel Conway in charge. Always a lot of interest as far as the four-man competitions are concerned, but when it full-tie rules, it's even, even uh, more exciting. The Rebels ready. Wimbledon Jai, Ali Tol Malolo are ready. Over in the red corner, David Sang Chai Ung is also ready. He's, a, he's a, a real tough little man and he's uh, fought some really good fighters. So will the experience hold up? He was training for a fight, but that fight was about six months, uh, six weeks away. So he's not at full fitness, but uh, it's gonna be interesting because Tom Malolo is a fighter that just uh, likes to keep the pressure on. He loves to be in the middle of things. Ooh. Well, he, th he stopped to admire his work there, Shark. He, did. he just paused for a second, didn't, didn't realise that he was going to, uh, you know, beat it and come forward. Like, you know, like, oh yeah, I like that, let's go. Well, San Chai Young, <laughs> oh. San Chai Young looks like uh, he's, he's going to back his fitness. Yeah, I don't think, uh, you know, I know the other fight is six weeks away, but that won't, uh, these guys are always fit, you know. Uh, they can do this, they, and they have this uh, mentality, it's like an ex-SAS fighter, you know. Uh, they've got that extra gear, they know they can go there, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, that's the thing, he has been in deep water lots yeah. and lots of times, so... Uh, he, he knows how far he can push his body. And there you go, look at those angle changes, look at those little two degree, separation of two degrees, the combinations, wow, yeah. look at the power oh. of those kicks. Well, 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 oh, I'm just watching, <laughs> jeepers. Okay, and the, uh, yeah, good head kicks. You know, like you have seen everything, we've seen the knees, we've seen the hands, we haven't seen the elbows, but, um, 
very dangerous. Yeah, we're only halfway into the first round. Ooh, Ooh. nice double up there. In fact, kick was so close to the mark. If you're uh, coming in like that, that's the kind of kick that can catch you out. You know, it followed that jab, and the kick was straight behind it. When you when you you're chasing the the counters, as um, as David Sanchai was, uh, you know, you can walk into those. Yeah. This is, this is a this is real good. Both guys trying to dominate the centre of the ring. And the pace. Yeah. Round number the, one. Wow. Can they keep this pace up for the whole fight? I think it'd be impossible, but you know, these guys do the impossible. Oh timing. <laughs> Brilliant timing on that. And you could see him set it up. It was perfect from Tom Malolo. It doesn't uh, deter Ung from Coming forward, putting a little bit of pressure on upstairs with the with the hands. John Conway, the man in charge here tonight at Art of War 11. Yeah, always does an amazing job. Does the Rebel. Wow, what a great skill set. You know, you've seen both these guys, you know, very well-rounded well fighters. Good round number one, I'll tell you what. Right, <laughs> Oh, the boys like it. Ali, don't take, you stay forward. When you're quitting, you don't push away. You yeah. stay calm and chill now, you just stay. Don't put too quick. You work me, 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 and then you push away. Like you throw over. Work me first. When he come hand, you more think, you know, you have hand. When hand, you have elbow. Have elbow, you have push too. Yeah. Really, yeah, like sometimes you move around, sometimes you go forward. Just don't stay, let him come attack. So when you come over and attack, you push straight away. When you come attack, and then you kick same time. Now work easy, you make this You only have to watch out for like single shots as you're coming in. But because you're ranging so much and shifting, you can't figure out when to put the shot up. What worked for you there is you went to the body. Yeah, and then you went to the lead, lead with the leg and then you lead up to the head. So all the different variations of where you're leading is like, you can't figure it out. So just uh, more of the same thing. See if he puts a little bit more pressure on you. But you just keep shifting and turning and yeah, one more. Plenty of uh, experience in the corners there. Shark, Eugene Behrman over in uh, San Chaiung's corner and uh, Wimbledon Jai in Ali Tomalolo's corner. Wimbledon over 200 fights <laughs> in Thailand, so... Whew, that's a lot of fights. Yeah, that's a lot of fights, yeah. And uh, Sentai comes out and uh, tries to control the centre of the ring. His, uh, his change of angle tonight has been uh, really good to watch, isn't it? It is. It's beautiful to watch, you know, and, and it's causing a lot of problems. To Ali, like, uh, Ali's trying to stand there and, and bang, and then the angles get changed, and then he's trying to counter. He's good good with his kicks. I mean, what I like about Ali is, like, you can see him. He gets his range dialed in for those kicks, and he really slams them in hard, you know. But David's making him really work for it, you know. As he changes angles, he pushes, he changes his angles again and really comes in and, and punches in bunches, you know. He's throwing combinations of two, three. You know, it isn't giving him the time to sort of uh, set up and throw those hard hits. Yeah, well, um the thing about that uh, Ali Tom Malolo, he, he, he's a fighter that doesn't like going backwards and he, he uh, likes to dominate his opponent and get them going forward and when he is, gets into that mode, he is very hard to, so he tries to stand his ground there but Sunchai is, um, he, he's not taking any of that, like he's, he's been around the block a, a lot of times so he's, he's resisting and if uh, Tom Malolo can get you on the back foot, you're in a lot of danger because you've seen the earlier on the timing and everything with those hard kicks that you talk about, Shark. Is, you know, he gets that little bit of go forward there and he can pick his shots. Just gives him that little bit of more time. That's right. But, but Sanchai changing the angles and, and coming straight back in. Yeah. making it, you know, disrupting his, his flow. And the other thing about Ali Tungalolo is that he, you can see, he likes to keep that range and he throws a lot of power in his shots. And uh, what David Sanchoyong's doing is he's just breaking his rhythm. 
changing yeah. those angles. Yeah, and breaking not, the rhythm. Yeah. Not letting him set up and throw those hard power shots. He likes his punches at the end of the range. He likes his kicks to be right on target as he comes in with a nice knee there. This is a fast-paced fight. This is another. This is just like <laughs> a really fast-paced fight. You know, like they're going to have a hard night. Whoever goes through is going to be better than Bruce. Well, you know, I, I thought the experience of uh, Santai would um, he, he would be a little bit more careful with the with the timing and the pace of the fight. But he's really backing himself here tonight. I love it. You but, know, he's come out and said, "Hey, I'm 100 percent fit. I'm not six weeks away from fight fitness. I'm I'm here and ready to go." And he's really fighting as if this is a. The last round. Every round has looked like it's the last round of, of the night for him. Brilliant. Oh, beautiful knee there from Tomalolo. Tries to change the angle. There goes another good knee. It hasn't been an easy night at the office so far, and that was a beauty. That was a real good cracker for me. So, some good work from him. Here we get a different angle on the same. Yep, that's the same bit of the fight. There goes the knee again, Shark. Yep. Knees will just. There's uh... another one coming, but um, Sancho has made himself a real difficult target. That was close. <laughs> Really easy, why you winning easy? Just the main thing. Don't make yourself look like this now. Okay? He only punch when you need. Block, block, me. Don't block, stay strong. Don't, don't off balance. Just stay strong, stay close. Me, when you punch me, block, and then me, work on me. But sometimes you phone me, when you come in, you push first. You do left push first, we go forward. Yeah? When you need, sometimes you up left, right knee. Up left, left knee. Sometimes we have elbow, remember? Yeah. You need finish elbow and the knee again. You just went away from your variation of the targets. Go to the head. Paint. Lead to the lead with the lead with the kick. Lead with the jab or right hand to the body. Or lead to the head. Many. Hey, it turns into like that weird kick thing. Yeah. When you're not doing anything, it's going to be hard for him to line up his single shot or his knee stepping forward. I'm just returning him all the time. It isn't that interesting, the corners. Two very different corners mm. there. You know, a lot of experience in both corners. Yep. And you listen to what they say, but two, just two different approaches. Well, here we go. Who's going to get through to the final, Shark? That's it. I mean, this is a close fight for me. I, I, I think, it, it, you know, there's still, it's not clear cut by any means. No. So, uh, you know, let's see who's, who wants it. Oh, nice right hand there from San Chai Ong. Both guys looking very light on their feet. They're still moving well. Yeah, and both, both will know that... Um, you know, they don't want to leave it in the judges' hands. They want to want to be dominant in this round and try and take it away. They both pull the trigger at the same time with the left hand there before Wong goes on attack. Jeez, Ali Tongalolo. We haven't seen too many elbows in this fight, Shark. No, no, we haven't. Um, Ali Tongalolo's kicks are very impressive. You know, if he gets the timing right on those, they're going to cause a lot of trouble. But David doing great hands with the work, moving the angles, throwing the combinations, keeping him really, really busy, keeping it busy, scoring the points. You know, watching this fight, I don't know, I don't think we're going to get a stoppage because, but I think, uh, you know, need to get scoring here at this part of the fight and get the judge's eye, steal the fight and get him through the next one. Man, it's been non-stop. This has just been so tiring. It's, um, you know, they haven't slowed down. You, you come out and you commented on how fast it was at the start of the fight, Chuck. It's just the same now. It's just full bore. These guys don't know any, uh, any other gear than full speed. 
really settling into this fight. They've really, you know, it's... Yeah, both got the choke pulled right out here in round number three. Good combinations, good counters there from uh, David as he works it, to, puts it together. Oh, there's an elbow. There's yeah, an elbow. Yeah, Ali's, tried to double it up. Ali, Ali's saying, if you want to come in, I've got something for you. <laughs> come and collect this. Wow, good combination there. Uh, I'll tell you what, I've just noticed Tom Malolo's hand's starting to drop down a little bit. Ooh. Oops, not happy. The crowd's not happy, Shark. <laughs> Depends <laughs> who you're supporting. You know? <laughs> yeah. There's always going to be half the crowd unhappy about it. <laughs> yes, <that works. laughs> wow! Oh, good hands, hey, good timing. How how big the heart, eh? How big are the hearts for these two guys? Gee whiz! Fighters, and, uh, gotta love it, right? Sanjo Ong trying to get the last word in there and say, "Look at me, look at me," and we will have to wait on the judges' decision. But there's uh, no champions, you know. Like, you know, there'll be a, there'll be a winner, but there won't be any losers in, in that fight. That's no for way. sure, you know. That and uh, you think of the experience that uh, Tom Malola was giving away. Nice right hand there from from Sanchai. Early in the round, that was great fight. Absolutely great fight. Yeah, both in it right to the end. Really interested to see how they've scored this one. Yeah. Is that one of the judges? <laughs> one of the one of the fighters hopes not. <laughs> Could be a bit biased there. Yeah. see him fight again but yeah David Sanjay through to the final yep. how you doing great great thanks to my team the snitches <laughs> shout out to the snitches 24 hours notice mate 24 hours yeah thank you yeah that is one of us Spears is the youngest fighter in the four-man tonight, but don't let that fool you. He's been fighting since he was nine years of age. He's 19 years old now, and he steps in through the ropes for fight number 33 here tonight. Trained by Aaron Boys at Strike Force Gym, he's a former junior champion, and when he made the step up to the seniors, he did so in style by beating very good fighter Dominic Reed. Anyone that takes him lightly tonight will do so at their peril. Let's make some noise all the way from Wellington. G, the Supreme Elbow! Gene Elborn, he runs his own gym down in Wellington, Maranui Muay Thai, and he has fought extensively in Thailand, so he loves the Thai rules that are on show here tonight. He said that would be a big thing in the, his favor. He's also got the height and reach advantage over anyone that he's gonna come across tonight. I met him for the first time just before. He's a well-spoken and educated young man. He believes in himself, and he believes that he's got what it takes to take the chocolates home here tonight. Let's join Isaac Savage as he makes the introductions.
Straight into the action, downstairs goes Spears. And Gene Elborn telling me before the fights that uh, you know his experience in Thailand should stand by him. He likes the full Thai rules. And we know that Ben Spears also likes full Thai rules. But, um, let's see. Yeah, this is an interesting fight right here, number one. Like, look, look at the speed these guys are fighting at. This is a fast-paced round number one. You know you've got two hard fights uh, if you get through. Uh, usually the guys are trying to preserve their uh, bodies a little bit here at this stage of, of the fight. But these two guys are going out there and saying, hey, I've got the stamina to go six hard rounds. That's it, and uh, maybe I'll finish it early and it might be not so hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, 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 the way, the, the, the distance is in favour of Elborn. But at the moment, yeah, well Spears um, looking very sharp there, crisp with the hands, right? He's throwing some good combinations. That was a good knee. Yeah, the nice knee there from Melbourne. So his tactics of uh, getting in and making it into a tie fight it seemed to be his planning. Right, beautiful right hand from Ben Spears there, Shark. Good timing, great timing. Looking very crisp. Melbourne. Working his way in, you can see he wants to knee. Uh, trying to close that distance. So it's a, that's a little bit strange too, the taller fighter wanting to get in close. Uh. That's right, and, and also with Spears looking so comfortable on the outside, it's almost like it's reversed. <laughs> but um, here we go, he's got him, he's wanting to clinch. I mean, it's not unusual for a tall fighter to, to, to be dominant in the clinch. They've got the height. He's got his arms in good uh, position there on the inside. And uh, there he goes. He's nestled in there and he's latched in pretty strong. Yeah, nice knees. He's landed a couple of good ones already in the fight, has Elborn. Spears. Good, good work from him there to turn things around. This trap, he had the good timing on there. That was good. John Conway in the right place at the right time there. Keeps the fight flowing. This is a fast paced fight. Still, they haven't slowed down this fight. Has a, a high work rate. Yeah, both trying to get that dominance, that go forward. Nice work again from Melbourne coming forward. Good high knee. Close that range really well. Throw a good strong one. Ooh, there goes in. Ooh, that wasn't too far away. That's what he's after. That's that's the favourite shot for Gene Melbourne. He gives a nod of acknowledgement to, to Spurs and said, you put me with one there. Spears landing two right hands within that short period of time, you know, his, he, that's dialed in. He's dialed that right hand in, it's laser targeted and it's ready to go. Put your knee there, don't forget you can use the elbow. Yeah. Don't forget you, but the rest yeah, of you're putting a lot of weight on my arm. Yeah, I'm too heavy. Okay, good. In the clinch. Doing the right thing. Get around the side. Okay. You're doing everything well. Brief. Yeah, that right hand good. is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. it comes up to the technique, just landing the right hand. The fake yeah. right hand. It's 
Beautiful. Wants to step through with that left knee. So what's he want to do? Work and step on it. Yep. All he's got yep. really is the right kick. And then he's trying to clinch now. Yep. yep. Feel good out there? Yeah. You look beautiful out there. Yeah. Okay? He's not winning in the stand-up. He's going to try and, I'd say he's going to try and clinch him all this time. Yep. If he tries to charge down a little more when he comes in, just move up. Bam. Yep. Off line. Bam. 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 Let him come in. Come bam. All right? Okay? Move out. Move out. Really nice round there. Right hand. Bam! Left one elbow. Bam! Alright? Good point. Just left hand. Just taking a look back there, Shark. <laughs> well, good sportsmanship there. He pulled that back and <laughs> it gets up like the Matrix there. Those Ben Spears. He can throw things on different angles. He can get up in different ways. <laughs> He's multi talented. I mean, I was very impressed with his work on the outside in round number one. Yeah, that's a wee bit surprising, Shark, how, how many clean shots he, he landed from the distance, you know, up against the tall fighter. His hand, especially his right hand, was uh, honestly, the, the, it was looked so crisp. It's beautiful to watch. And the, the other thing I, I liked about him in round number one was uh, his, his movement, you know, he just changes a little. Just like that, just a little bit halfway sideways and lands a big right hand. You just change your your, your angle by by two Ooh, inches. That wasn't far away either. Oh. And that's got him thinking, right? Look at his hands. He's keeping his hands up now. And that was at short range. So it, um, not a lot of fighters can throw a high kick at that short range. It would be that dangerous. Well, the elbows are coming out. Yeah, you know, we yeah. could see a cut yeah. here. This is... Uh, He's got mean intentions as far as the elbows are concerned, has Gene Elborn and uh, takes another shot to try and get in close again and, and Ben Spears just saying well two can play at that game and if you're close enough to give one you're going to be close enough to collect one as well and we're talking about the elbows oh geez that's the kind of strike that can end a fight you know yeah that is but look at the composure of, of Spears you know he's been forced to under attack, you, you know, the, the guy that's coming in and firing a lot of knees, trying to get that elbow, looking for the, the cut and the short night at the office. His counterfighting is just on point tonight, like you look out the speed and uh, that, that is just looking so crisp, he's picking the right shots at the right time, like he's happy to live, uh, you know, in the pocket right there, right in the danger zone. I, I'll stay here and when you want to fire, I'm going to counter fire. Uh, counter you straight away and it looking so crisp look at him isn't that beautiful to watch it's art I love it <laughs> yeah yeah no he's on fire being spears here tonight but he's still in a fair bit of danger for a Melbourne he's uh, trying to keep that pressure on and get him close it? yeah I think what's happening here is Elbourne is trying to get in and trying to grapple but the problem is that uh, he's having a hard time of it, you know. He's landing, getting getting caught on the way in. Yeah, he's not setting it up. He's just saying, I'm going in there and I'm going to get in close enough to, to put an elbow into you. And uh, as you say, he's, he's catching a lot of leather. And I think that's a good point. I think if he could throw a couple of fakes or throw um, something to, to lead up to get inside, that it might work a little bit better for him because he's getting caught. He's getting a little bit... Um, geez, I tell you what, it's the hands that are causing him the trouble. There you go. Even though he's come in, he's got got what he wants. He's got his hands in close, but he's had to. He's been caught with a couple, and out he goes again. Yeah. As um, you know, Spears, a master of evasion. Another one behind them. Back to the corner as they go. Yeah, he's just a handful, isn't he, Ben Spears? And just not allowing uh, Elborn to get into any sort of a rhythm. And there's a good kick around this here somewhere. Yeah, that kick there. Now that got the attention of Ben Spears. Is it something that we might see a little bit more of in the third from Elborn? Okay, still trying to win the round, so it's doing enough to hold him off. Yeah. Okay, but conserve as well. Okay, that's why I'm walking down. Yeah, he's going to try and walk it down. Keep that right hand to the body. Bam! Let's talk up his ears. Yeah, the right hand is quite much. Yeah. Even back on that leg. Drop on that leg. All right, just little things. Bam! 
no weight for him. Don't stop on the middle weight for him. Or you stop very close or far away, not on the middle way. Okay, don't wait for him. Fake a little bit. You need to change something on this fight. So you need yeah, to get another Fake. Fake. Okay. Fake and you're gonna find him. Make his knees. Use your legs long. Push. Now you bring something from deep, deep down. From deep down of your heart. You need that. That's why telling them that um, you know that you've got to be a bit more busy on the inside there, Shark. You know he he's he's breaching the gap, but when he gets in there, he hasn't been able to deliver the damage. Yeah, in or out, uh, don't stay in between. And uh, good advice, I think, very good advice. Uh, and and maybe I think that he actually was trying to do that, but he was getting caught on the way in. Yeah. So let's see how he goes here. Um, Will we see some of those good kicks from him up around the body that we saw at the end of round number two? There goes one, partially blocked by the arm. Spears, his footwork tonight, Ben Spears, has been excellent. Oh, it hasn't it? It's just changing the angles, just that little bit. Yeah. You don't have to move a whole lot, you just have to move a, 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 a two degrees. You And you, you, you picked it out right too earlier on because he's, he's, he's done a lot of different techniques, you know, he's put that high kick up earlier on when you mentioned that's got him thinking and um, yeah, the album, he just walked into another barrage of blue leather. Yeah, those, those, the story for me is those quick counters on the hands, they really have worked well for him. But it's not just that, he's countering the leg kicks really well too. So as he comes in and kicks, he's making him pay for it. See that little slip to the side? Yeah. Like that's that's just like you touched on, that, that the footwork has been amazing. His ring craft is amazing. He's not moving the same way every time. He's moving the left, now he's moving to the right. You know, he's keeping it mixed up. He's keeping him guessing. And uh, he's the one, even though he's going backwards, he's the one that's making him guess making uh, Alborn guess what's going to happen. You know, he's, even though he's coming forward, he still doesn't know which way he's going to move. It's, it's just making him hesitate that half a second, and that's yeah. all he needs. Yeah, spot on. Good summary of just exactly what's happening out there. Now, and Alborn's starting to get a little bit tired. He's starting to get a little bit frustrated here. He knows he can end it if he gets that shot, but he's been trying for that shot right from the, the very first bell. And maybe that... Um, he's had that shot on his mind right throughout and it's made it a, a one-track game plan rather than a, a more fluid one like Spears has been able to attack, he's been able to counter-attack. Wow, there goes a barrel with the right hand from him. And the left shoulder charge, it was very good. Yeah, you can see the frustration starting to creep in with Album. He's getting in, he, he's doing the hard work to get in there, and then it's not paying off. And then he has to reset, he has to do it again, and again he's getting hit coming in. It gets tiring, and it's been a fast-paced fight. This has been a, a very fast-paced fight, considering this is full-tie rules, and they've got another fight on the cards tonight. Yeah, and, and he's too far behind now to change it and try and, and fight from the outside. He's, he's got to really just hope that he does land that one shot. No, it's not going to happen here tonight. Good to see him up here, though, Gene Alborn, but he'll go home disappointed, and it'll be Ben Spears that'll go through with a chance to take the chocolates home tonight. And boy, I can't wait to see Alborn fight again, actually. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, these Wellington fighters are very exciting. I'd love to see some more of them. Yeah. yeah. He had to show a bit of toughness here, too, because he, uh, he'll have a few bruises tomorrow. Yeah. From shots like that that were... Your winner advancing through to the final tonight for the four men. By unanimous decision, it's a Ben Spears versus San Chai Wung final.
First of all, you both must be able to protect yourselves at all times, listen to my instructions. When I call break, step away from each other until you, I say, fight. Fight in full Muay Thai roll, shake him up. Back in the corners, that'll be Last minute instructions from the Rebel, John Conway. This is a really interesting fight because you go back, you look at those fights, they both fought a similar style. Yeah. Both yeah. really good movement, great crisp hands, good combinations. You know, this is going to be a great, great final. Be interesting to... There'll be a lot of zigging and zagging going on because, uh, yeah, their feet, their footwork was uh, amazing, both of them. The final. Full Muay Thai rules out of a War 11. Yep. Both dialing in the range. Straight away, as we would expect after watching those other fights. Oh, the elbow straight. Come out of the uh, war chest of Ben Spears. Wanted to get the, the old downward onto the clavicle. Wow. <laughs> A little bit of feeling out there, Shark. Wow. You know they want it. Yeah, and they know that the mistake, you know, you let your opponent get a, a little bit of a go forward in this one. It, it could be a, a pretty hard job to turn them around, to, to change the flow of the fight. So uh, neither one of them want to make a mistake early on. Gee, well, it's good movement. You can see there, they're throwing the leather, but they're both of them just moving. They live in that zone where you just dodge the punches so you can counter. That's where they feel comfortable, you know, and, and uh, that's years of training. That's yeah. that's a lot of training to get to that level. Yeah, definitely. Where you feel comfortable there because your average person feels comfortable three rows back running the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, looking to set up and, and bridge that gap. Yeah, and beautiful. Follow the knee in there. That, that, that's not easy to do either. You get that wrong, you can uh, walk into something pretty, pretty substantial. Wow, just when you think one fighter's going to get a little bit of, a, of an advantage, the other one comes back. And, you know, 
we've been talking about it all night. It's, it only takes a little bit of a fraction of a sideward move and, and a counter, and, and the fight's completely turned around. Yeah, I liked how Ben went through a little fake there, you know. Little, yeah. You know, he's, he's throwing a few more fakes. He's moving quite fast. Um, yeah, David... David's getting in there and he's throwing his combinations too. It's like who's going to land first? You feel like this is on a tipping point that it can go either way. But wow, nice right hand there. Yeah, you know, like that, that's happened in two corners now with uh, Sancho being forced backwards and then managing to counter when Ben got in close enough. Nice work there, tra trap and sweep from Spears. Yep. David Sancho on, back to his feet and looking to get in. He's really starting to push this fight here and try and dominate the middle of the ring. Uh, but Ben isn't having it. <laughs> no. Busy, busy round number one. Really put more in it, you know, like fuck it. if you do it, throw it to fucking kill him, alright? Alright, good boy. In the corner, don't, when you back up on the rope, don't worry about punching him. You know, you're wasting energy punching him when you're on the yeah. elbow. No wonder we've got good fighters shot when you look at the corners. You've got like a UFC corner, and not only a UFC corner with Brad Riddell and Eugene Berman, you know, what, have they, what haven't they done in the kickboxing world? And then over in the other corner, you've got um, the bomber Aaron Boys and Kane Conlon, who, uh, you know, fights the bare knuckle, well, Les Frey, and, <laughs> you know, it, top, top. New Zealand, New Zealand fight scene is strong. It's probably the strongest it's ever been, and and it, and it always has been strong. You know. Back into the action, these two. And well, at round number one. What do you feel about that coming out the end of round number one? It was a very close fight, right? It was very close in round number one. I thought it was a seesaw match, and it's really a. a you know, you you get the feel yeah, that you've someone's stop just asking me hard questions. Yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, I mean, this is a judge's nightmare. Yeah. This is a judge's nightmare. That yeah, it's a all praying for a knockout because they could easily get it wrong. At this stage of the fight, yes, because they're both very similar, you know? I'm enjoying they're this fight. Their, uh, their opponents, their, their defensive work for both of them. I mean, this work, this work rate is off the charts. And this is after a, already after a tough fight. You know, this is just not normal human behaviour. <laughs> this is amazing. And at this pace and at this ferocious power, you know, these elbows, knees, kicks, there should be someone tiring at this point, but they're not. They're stepping it up. Wow. See, you know, you know that's what you were talking about, you know, just get just give enough room for it to get past and you're not wasting time getting back in on the counter attack. I think David's starting to blow a little bit here but it, but yeah, yeah. even though he's breathing a little bit heavier he's still throwing the combinations. Yeah well, he's, he, he's still trying to ask the questions it's not as if I'm tired I'm going to uh, try and look for a rest it, it's I'm tired and I can uh, Still got another gear. <laughs> Tired, just uh, something that's natural. Get over it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spears went for the long range elbow and just about got in trouble with the, uh, just being a little bit off balance. Oh, nice timing. Beautiful timing on that. Caught Sancho coming in. Wow. 
Wow, both of them throwing good counters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? They just stand in the pocket and let them go, don't they? You know? But it's not blind shots, it's like calculated shots. Back and forward. Brilliant, brilliant fight to watch. The determination of these two fighters, unbelievable. Brilliant to watch. Great to be part of it, Shark. Oh, we're lucky. We've been lucky for a long time. But they did. <laughs> but they did. Uh, two, three. Well, basically, two, long three. So you can catch it. Yeah. And then when you, when you come in and it comes up, you use your left and right hook to get to the outside. You know what I mean? Hook. And then to pull yourself outside. Yeah? Check hook. What? Check hook. Yeah, on both sides. Yeah, on both sides. Like you've been doing, pace yourself, but pick it up at gym periods, all right? Three minutes, Ben. He's tired. He's hurting as well. Great. You got three minutes? You got three minutes? Come on, you got three minutes? Good. Give me your best three minutes, Ben. Just like you fucking. You know, you're looking good out there. All right? Keep your switch in coming. Everything you've been doing. Lock him in. Let's him up, lock him in. Move back, you're moving back beautifully. You missed everything. Clinch. And you're winning the fight, so yeah. all you need to do is keep doing the same thing. Right, you need this round. Stay sharp. You need this round. You need this round. You've got to win it for them. You're too deep out, Jack. You need this round. Well, this is it. It's, uh... Get the hand up, time. It is, do or die, this is it. They've worked hard to get here. Yeah, and, and like we've seen in the in the other two uh, two fights, the semi-finals, the, a lot can be uh, done here in that round number three. It could be the winning of the fight. Win the round, win the fight. Wow. Little, you know, there you go. See a little gap and just throws everything at it. Yep. Ben Spears, you don't need to give him much room and he'll, he'll go for it. Wow, good timing on that. Wow. Oh, and landing some good hands here. Combinations and an elbow. Whoa, and uh, the toughness of Sanchai is, uh, is evident here as he walks through the power and there goes another bell ring of the right hand. He follows it up with a, a great combination and he's not finished yet, Ben Spears. Good start to round number three for him. Some lovely combinations there, and yeah. timing, the timing on those was spot on. Yeah, and he doesn't want to let Sanchai off the hook. Sanchai trying to fight his way back in, and the fatigue is starting to, to set in now with uh, Sanchai. He's leaving himself open a little bit, but he, he's showing caution to the wind now, Shark. Oh, he's coming forward, and he's trying to throw those combinations that have worked for him for the, for the rest of the night. It's just here, I think, uh, Ben just doubling up. And yeah, yeah, as, yeah. as Aaron was telling him to do in the corner, right, he's saying, catch him, hit him with one, he's going to come in and him with the second one. It's exactly what he's done here, and it's working well for him. Wow. But I think he's just annoyed David. <laughs> <So> he's coming <laughs> forward. <laughs> so David really throws some good combinations of his own and saying, okay. Let's see if you can if you That's can keep this right pace up. The, yeah, yeah move some good movement. I think he was in the fog a little bit there, and he just went a wee bit blind earlier on. Walked into some really good shots. He's starting to just bob and weave a little bit more again now. Sanjay, man, he's tough, isn't he? Extremely tough, extremely talented. As he works his way in, he's changing those angles. Not moving the same way. He's gone left and right. He's not just charging in now. He's picking his spots, throwing those combinations, working his way in. And Showing yeah. him a little bit more respect here at the end of the third. Wow, well, yeah, but ben, ben got that little bit of go forward at the start of the round. He's really trying to keep that pressure on and uh, get the judges' attention. He certainly got mine. He had Sanchai's attention there for a bit too. Definitely got that killer instinct. If he sees something, he's well, going to go for it. You know, yeah. one little crack in your armour and he's laser beamed in there. But both these guys have got everything that you need to be a good fighter. They've got the the killer instinct as well and um, yeah they both still got the belief that they're the, the best man out there they, neither one of them wants to admit that they're second best and we're going to go to the judges on it but what a great round it was from Ben Spears great fight
great fight. And I don't know where the fight was sitting when they went into that last round. There wasn't too much in it. Been throwing some good combinations, especially that sort of midpoint. That was the start of that was the start of the combination that really big goes the right hand that follows it up. It's more to come. And the beautiful left there, and same guy is trying to get him to get you know to get him off balance and get him on the back foot, but Spears just refused to go anywhere. And, uh, it's a great, it's a great shot with that slow action. You really see him changing the angles throughout this combination. Yeah. You know, that's a combination that's gone full circle. He's changed the angles. He's moved left. He's moved right, and landed those shots. He can't just stand there and do that. He wouldn't be able to do that. But he's done that through his footwork. That's really beautiful. What? After two rounds, we have a unanimous decision, and the champion of the night, fighting out of there. Well, it was enough to get him home that good last round, Chuck, and it's Ben Spears that uh, takes it away. And uh, promoter Tony Angela there. He puts on some great shows, doesn't he, Tony oh, He does. He, he does. And uh, hey, you want to see some great fights? Get his ones out. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. Was he a knockout <laughs> artist? Cup noodles. <laughs> Cup noodles. The Doyle champions now. Along, you know, I've been first time back at the gym this year, and all of you guys out here supporting me uh, it really means a lot. Have you run into the lineup soon? You know, you just about four what, What's next? Uh, a break. Well deserved, well deserved. And uh, finally, mate, uh, any final shout outs to you while watching? Uh, big fight out to Aaron for coaching me, and Kane, you know, being a main sparring partner leading up to my fight. Joey as well, you know, all means sparring partners for me and the rest of the Strike Force crew always being there supporting and pushing, you know, making a real family family environment. Uh, thanks, Dad, for putting me on meal plans so I don't just eat cup noodles. <laughs> Big shout out to the Daily Mail. He's a lot bigger than Ben, you know, like um, Ben's a 62 kg fighter, this, this um, we ended up being 68.5 this division because Fire's pulling out. And it, so we knew we um, were the smallest fighter in there, so we just had to have a good campaign of moving and, you know, not tying, tying out. So we did that, but then we with uh, David Sancho, we knew he was a K1 fighter, so instead of, um, instead of uh, you know, trying to stick and move him, we would we'll use our left leg, take, take his hands away from him. And, um, and time up and need me and up on so uh, and it worked pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 